In this video, I'm going to cover a question raised by one of the user subscriber uh, over here. So the question was basically, uh, I need to add a field to the case to allow the user to enter an ID that is referenced in the email. So I'm assuming that a user will get an email and then based on that, there will be some content in an email and then that ID needs to be grabbed in. The ID could be the application number and so on. How does one add this field? Custom ref ID of type text to the case. And how do we make this field updatable in the case main form? So what I understand from the question is a user wants to basically customize the case form, the out of the box case form and add one field. Uh, now, in order to do that and make that field editable. Okay, so in order to do that, you need to navigate to Dynamics 365 Customer Service Hub application. Uh, so Sam in the Customer Service Hub application and here i will go into the cases i'll just first show you how the default form will look like uh, so if i click on cases i have modified this uh, case form a bit so that's why i'm showing you uh, how the default form will look like and how the customized form will look like so if i click on new case now once i click on new case here i will be presented with a form okay now this form uh, which you see over here is case for interactive experience form. Okay. Now I can add another form as well. So if you see here, I've added G case for interactive experience, and then this form can have uh, some other fields uh, mapped as per your requirement. So I have added a new tab. I have added details uh, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now I'll just switch back to case for interactive experience form. Okay. So this is the form by default form, which is available, which has some stock standard fields available. Now the user wants to add a new field inside it. Okay. Now this is one form case for interactive experience. Now, if you click on plus on top over here, and if you click on case, this form gets popped up. Now this is a quick create form. Now this is a separate form. This is different form. This one is a different form compared to this form. Okay. So you can update both the form with the new fields. That's completely fine. Okay. It all depends on your requirement. How do you want to update? Okay. So once we understand this concept, just take this name case for interactive experience. Now go to make.powerapps.com in the back end and, uh, I'll just show you from start where to navigate. So go to make.powerhouse.com, go to your right environment, customer service trial, and under table, go to the case, case table. So this is the underlying table which holds all the case records. And from there, go to the data experiences forms, okay? Now, before we even go into the form, what I want to do is I want to add a field, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on columns, okay? And then here I can add a new column. Now, let's assume that a uh, column is called as, uh, let me see what's the user's name. Okay, so, so let me call it as Carl's application ID. Okay. And then you can put some description. It's a format, it's text, data type, single line of text, save this. So I've added one custom field. Now this is the field which I will be exposing this in the form. So again, it's pretty much same as like a stock standard uh, model driven app whereby you add a column into the backend table. And then once that column is created, you add that column into the form. So the column has been created. And now I'll go back to the case table, go to the data experiences forms. And now there are two forms to update. One is case for interactive experience, okay, which is this form, case for interactive experience. And the other, and the one was like the quick create form, like when we click on new, here we click on case, and then this is the form. So first, let's open case for interactive experience, click on it, and here you can do various customization, but I'm not going to do this in this particular video. Uh, I'm just gonna add those fields. So I am searching for CRL, and this is the, column which I need to add. So what I can do, I can select any of the section. Okay, so this is these are the various section. And what I can do, I can just double click. The moment I do that, this particular field will get added. Okay, now it has added twice. So let me remove this once. And I have this field added. Now I can move this field onto the top as well. 
okay so let me move it to the top of the case title so i have moved this field now i'm good with this what i'm gonna do i'm gonna save and publish now you can even lock this field if you want here but i'm not going to do that so click on save and publish now this we have done for case for interactive experience form okay now similarly you can do that for uh, the quick create form as well okay so once it is published what i'm gonna do is i will be opening that form and again the same uh, thing we need to do so let me show you again i'll just say make.powerapps.com right from start uh, select the correct environment so for me it's customer service trial and this is the right environment go to the tables click on all and type in case click on the case table select all click on case click on the case table and from here click on forms now remember we will be editing the quick create form so here this is that case quick create okay now this quick create form is the same one when we click on plus over here and this is how the form will look like now what i can do i can add those field so the field name starts with carl c a r l so if i select carl and then i will be presented with the column which i have just created once the form loads again the same step what you can do you can double click on it and then this particular column will get added into the quick create form you can customize the form but i'm not going to do that what i'm going to do i'm going to just you know uh, maybe add it in the form okay so if you see here uh, i'll just move this to the top yeah so carl's application id is now added into the form okay let me click on save and publish okay so let it publish now we'll come here in this form and then we'll do a hard refresh let me do a control r control f5 just to see whether the changes are persisted or not So as you see over here, now the changes are persisted and now you can see Carl's application ID here as well. Okay. So if we start uh, typing the information in this form, so I'll just type in um, some issue with meter. And just close the scope pilot, some issue. and case application id maybe a and something something okay and customer i can select the customer which is the mandatory field select a datum corporation and rest all should be fine okay so once you click on save then this particular number will get saved in the packet So this is how you save the uh, newly created column now if i click on plus over here then if i click on case then this is a case quick create form now here also you can see the carl's application id is there so i can put a some value customer is so roland case title is bottom issue and that's it we click on save and your form should be saved. So now what we have done, we have used two forms to save the record with the newly created column. So that's it folks. This is how you basically add a column into a case form. Thanks for watching.